All right, a lot to get to this morning. I'm Marnie Hughes. Thank you for joining us. Starting with nuclear Armageddon. President Biden making headlines for sounding that alarm over Russian President Vladimir Putin's latest threats to use nuclear weapons. Nick Smith is here with the very latest on this. Good morning, Nick. Marnie, good morning. Analysts worried that if Putin feels cornered in Ukraine with his forces in retreat, he could end up taking extreme measures. At a fundraiser on Thursday, President Biden making his most outspoken remarks about about the threat of potential nuclear war, saying Putin is not joking when he talks about the use of tactical nuclear weapons or biological or chemical weapons. Not joking when he talks about those weapons being used. Mr. Biden added, we have not faced the prospect of Armageddon since Kennedy and the Cuban Missile Crisis. It wasn't immediately clear if Mr. Biden's comments were based solely on the nuclear threats Russian President Vladimir Putin made last month or new assessments. But U.S. officials have warned Russia could use weapons of mass destruction in Ukraine as Moscow faces a series of strategic setbacks. Ukrainian military officials say they have taken back more than 150 square miles of land from the Russians since October 1st. And as Ukrainian forces keep Russian troops on the run, they're leaving behind new evidence of possible war crimes. This video posted by Ukrainian liberators in Kharkiv, allegedly showing torture pits, graves, and the remains of people who appear to be civilians. Investigators in Kharkiv say more than 530 civilian bodies have been discovered in the region in what appears to be a deliberate campaign of torture by the Russians to terrorize the population into submission. Meanwhile, the exodus of fighting age young men from Russia is taking a new turn. Two Russian men fleeing Putin's draft have requested asylum in the United States after sailing across the Bering Strait to a remote island that belongs to Alaska. The Russians were taken to Anchorage for processing. And Marnie, just how seriously is the United States taking the threat of the possible deployment of nuclear or biological weapons by Russia? Take a look at this. On its official government website, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services has announced the purchase of anti-radiation drugs to the tune of more than $290 million. Marnie, that anti-radiation drug is being manufactured right here in the United States at a California-based pharmaceutical company. Yeah, a significant move, Nick, and talks to the seriousness of the issue. Is the U.S. the only country making this radiation drug? Uh, Marnie, actually, no. Uh, Ukraine, Poland, and other neighboring countries have already started to hand out iodine tablets, and the U.S. officials have definitely told News Nation that the purchase of this anti-radiation drug is part of an ongoing effort of preparedness in an emergency. A scary thought. All right, Nick. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.